So, what do I say? I can't say much, I guess. These poor people. Black, white, Latin, and that includes French, Italian, Romanian, and obviously Hispanic, Jewish, and all kinds of other people. They get beat up for doing the right thing. Can't say anything that'd upset anybody. Can't say anything at all. As Abraham Lincoln stated, you can fool some of the people all of the time, all of the people some of the time, but never all of the people all of the time, dash. Except in this case, fool becomes please. Of course, other people have used that you can please soliloquy before, but nothing's new under the sun. But I tell you what, we are in the times that have never been nor will be again. And in the last times, and we are in the last times everybody, even the Christian community, is going to be tempted to hear what they want to hear. That's why Paul wrote down to Timothy, now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. He didn't just mean physical meat or general marriage he meant spiritual and other kinds of food, and marrying only one member of the opposite gender. And some even in the name of Christianity are claiming that polygamy is okay, or even mandated by God. Anyway, Paul continued to write down. And I'm going to skip over some of what he wrote down four times sake and to get to the point that I'm trying to make as well as my conclusion. 6. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, or unto thou hast attained. 7. But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise to self rather unto godliness. 8. For bodily exercise profits little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach, because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Meditate upon these things, give to self wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto the self, and unto the doctrine, continue in them. For in doing this thou shalt both save to self, and them that hear thee. Remember that while one cannot lose his or her salvation, one can lose his or her walk with God. John 6, 66 From that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Hebrews 6, 4-6 6, Talking about one's physical salvation or lifelong walk with God, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened, and have tasted of the heavenly gift, and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost, and have tasted the good word of God, and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away, to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh, and put him to an open shame. Note, Repentance. Salvation one will always have if anyone's work which he has built on it endures, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. This clarifies the following. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. 